<clears throat> Hello everybody, what we're going to do is I'm uh, working with new perimeters on Camtasia, so bear with me, okay? You're going to see a little jumpiness and things moving around. What you're going to learn today is how to burn a ISO image, otherwise a CD, and I'm going to concentrate in what is my you know, common one, which is actually going to be Quake 2. Alrighty, now for those of you who are interested in Quake 2, if this is working right, you will download it from here. Okay? This is where you get your Quake 2 game. Now in the video I also show you where you can get the installer, which is even smaller. So you have a choice where you can download. Now to prepare your CD for burning and everything else you need to do today, you need to download the Ultra ISO portable. It needs no serial number. It needs no installation. Alright, so the next step you would probably be doing is going over here to your Ultra ISO. So, I've already downloaded it. Therefore, I'm going to go over to my folder and open it. In my case, I hit Control J because I know what it is. Portable. I'm simulating after download. I'm trying to go as slow as I can for you guys. And I'm going to open it. Oh yes, All right. I already have one running, that was my fault. And here we go. <coughs> Underneath, as up here, this is where you need everything. This is where you need to have the programs running. I'm sorry, uh, ready to download. There's nothing here. So, what you do is, it'll see my computer in the bottom. Go through and find the program you need. In this case, it's Quick 2 ISO. Open it up. Now, some of my folders have other programs in there. You may want to add it to the ISO, you may not. But I recommend that if it's already up here, don't add it. Because why bother? Why put it in twice? If it's not, which in this case I think the key gen and all that may not be in ISO. I don't know why I didn't do it, but I just didn't for some apparent reason. What you would do is you go to the bottom if it's in the same place. You hit, let's say it's the NFO file, you hit this then you click on, I want to make sure I get the right one, you don't hit new folder, you don't hit delete, you hit up, and that brings you absolutely to the wrong place. As I said, I'm doing this blindly here. Alright, I'm going to add something else because it's already in there. Alright, my downloads. I'm used to another program called Magic. Oh, that's right. All right, my fault. I'm not going to do it here, but you select what it is and you hit Add. That's all you do, and it adds it up here. There's no need to do this, all right? Now, once you've opened this, I want to make sure this is what you guys would be doing. All right, I'm going to go a little backwards here. When you open up the Quake, I'm sure most of you have already done this, but just in case you haven't, and you're wondering, you see the versus Quake 2 ISO in here and you're wondering well how do, where do I put it well you simply highlight it like it is and you put extract to I prefer that you put it to your desktop and hit OK and this is where it would go to the desktop and this is where you would open up this program which is Ultra ISO portable and you would go down here and find where it is let me give you an idea how far back it goes say goes to your my computer and since I'm on e drive I know where it is my desktop and this is where you, I prefer you guys would put it you know your name in my case it's bomber and it's on the desktop and the program we were looking for is quick too okay and that's where you hit quick two that's where you hit add. Your next step is to burn it. Just look at the icons here. Make sure you get everything right. Set boot file. We're not doing boot. Burn the CD image. That's exactly what you want to do. Now do not, I repeat, do not burn it in the maximum. Don't put it at 24 or 30 because you're going to have 
very likely going to have issues with the burning. Maybe not then, but you will down the road or right away. Especially if you only have a few CDs. I recommend burning anything. No matter how clean it is, even, even if it's something you burn from CD to CD, no more than 8 or 10. But considering it was downloaded, I would just go with 4. Everything else, you leave the same. You hit burn, which I'm going to do in a moment. Use a felt tip marker. Do not use a pen or anything else because you will ruin the CD. And write down whatever is on there. Well, Quake 2 in this instance. And you hit burn. And that's how you burn a CD. Once again, go in my description if you need to uh, find out the addresses for these two uh, items here. And most of all, please, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.